Hi, I'm Daryl Webster for smartstuff.co.nz and today I'm going to show you how to create a notebook and save it into the SharePoint library that you may have created earlier. If you haven't opened OneNote before, um, I suggest that you will have a couple of options. One, it will ask you to save it to somewhere that you can share it with others or you can save it directly to your My Documents on your computer. It is easier to save it to your My Documents on my computer, but if you want to go through these same steps when you first open OneNote you can create the first notebook saved into a SharePoint document library. It pays to be familiar with your SharePoint online address as you'll need that to uh, browse to where you need to save that notebook and once you've done that it will become a site you've already visited in your recent locations. So let's create the notebook. So choosing the network option, um, you might see we've already traveled to that network location. I'm just going to show you what you may see when you browse to it for the first time if you haven't done it beforehand within OneNote. So here, here's where I mean that you need to be familiar with your, your SharePoint online location. If you type that into there, click the browse button. and we're going to go into the OneNote library that we created in an earlier video and select that location we'll call the notebook team and save it Now at this point you do have the option to share the notebook immediately with people via an email or um, just continue. We're going to cover sharing a notebook in another video. So I'm going to choose no thanks. And as we're going to use this for meetings, I'm going to give this section a, a name called meetings. And I'm going to grab my other meeting notes, my whiteboard from my previous slide, um, just note too that OneNote can behave a bit like a browser and that some of the shortcuts like traveling back a page, I like to use Alt and the left arrow to go back. I'll just grab that whole section and that section there. Alt right arrow to forward. So we'll cover the sharing of the notebook in another meeting, but just as a, a bit of a preview, um, you can make a use of copy a link to this section. And this is something that you can use just pasting into a notebook, um, into a, a email or into an instant message application that you might want to send to someone to share with that notebook. Note that if we hover over this, we can see the location and the application that it should use to open up that OneNote file. So there's our shared notebook in a OneNote document library, and we'll cover off the sharing in the next video. Thanks for watching.